Honestly, it's it's amazing. The amount of respect these people have. Mm -hmm. For their service members and everything. Uh, it, it was it was incredible, you know. Being a kitchen sink guy, I mean every match, you I got a puncher's chance in every match. You're one of the most entertaining guys in the country. I, I mean, you led the country in pens, the NCAA in pens. Uh, where does the entertaining style come from? Uh, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, I tell my uh, coaches all the time, I'm, I'm not a wrestler, I'm an entertainer. You know, I just go out there, I just, I just try whatever, you know, just try to crowd please. Uh, I think uh, that's one of the reasons uh, the sport's kind of going on a decline is because a lot of people like to hold back, like to win matches, 3-1, 3-2. Uh, and I, just, I just go out there, just try whatever. You know, I, I try crazy things during practice. I'll drill it. People are like, "Why is Matt, you know, trying that?" You know, I mean, chin whip. I did that in high school just because, and uh, all my coaches always said, "Oh, that'll never work on a higher level." And you know, there it is, just <laughs> just working. So you're not the typical service academy guy. Like they don't get quote unquote blue chippers all the time, right? They get they get the bre the best and the brightest, and if the guy can wrestle, good, right? It's yes, very sir. secondary. The sport is. Well, I, I wasn't a blue chip recruit uh, coming out of high school. I wasn't ranked in top. I went 0 and 2 at Fargo. Uh, honestly, a lot of it had to do with development. When I went to Naps, Michael Grimes, one of the, the coach there, he really helped me. He uh, got me to believe in myself. Uh, then coming to the academy, once uh, Lloyd Rogers got there, you know. He helped me believe in myself. After my sophomore year, I realized I could compete with anyone. And uh, it was unfortunate that I blew out my knee in my junior year and I wasn't able to wrestle. So coming back off that ACL surgery and everything, you know, just Lloyd being in my corner, Coach Sherritt, Coach Angle, you know, I mean, they, they put up with a lot with me and you know, I, I, I'm real thankful. Talk a little bit about the challenge of being at a service academy and being a high-level Division One athlete. Um, now I live in Colorado Springs, so we see it with the Air Force guys, but, but you guys have some additional demands at times uh, that have to do with your military training and your academics that, that might make it a little more difficult to be an All-American in anything. <laughs> it's rough. I gotta, I gotta go back to school. Monday and plead with a couple of my teachers, plead my case. I kind of put a couple of classes to the wayside for this. Uh, so hopefully I can go in there, you know, do a lot of extra instruction. I mean, the teachers are real helpful there. You know, they, they want everyone to succeed. Uh, it's hard because you have all the military obligations that you have to do along with, you know, classes. They make you take 18 credits. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but, you know, it's, it's worth it in the end. You know, you get get a top grade education, you know, I have that waiting for me. I mean, wrestling's awesome, but, you know, the things that I'm going to do after this is... Have you decided what what that military career might look like? I mean, uh, obviously, it's not always determined until you get into it, but... Uh, I'm going to be a surface warfare officer in Norfolk, uh, which is excellent because it's right next to ODU, so uh, I got the coach's card to just see if I can come in and roll around with her guys every now and then. Uh, but, uh, two years in Norfolk and then I don't, I don't know what happens after that so so you're, you're staying Navy because you got options you can go Marines I uh I actually uh fractured my back uh my uh my sophomore year and uh that was rough I wasn't able to move for that was, that was actually real rough going to the academy because people I, I wasn't really social very too social my uh, freshman sophomore year and uh, after it happened, people were just like, oh, there's Miller, you know, milking whatever whatever he can. But I, I, I had to warm up for 15 minutes before I could get out of bed and stuff. And uh, so that, that disqualified me from pretty much every service selection other than SWO. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it, make the best of every situation. So. They let you stay at Navy when something like that happens to you? They don't um, kick you out of the academy? Because you can be... Yeah, if, if, it's, if it's so bad, yeah, they can... Uh, they can uh, get rid of you. But, discharge? Uh, mm -hmm. General discharge? Medical discharge? Yeah, medical. Uh, they'll, they'll separate you. And uh, most of the time, they don't. There's a restricted line, and there, there's a whole bunch of other options. Most people can go swell. So uh, they, they try, after they get you, they figure they have the cream of the crop. They try to retain you as much as possible. Like, they'll, they'll throw as much help your way as, as they can. So they, they don't want to lose, lose, you know, the best and the brightest that they've, they've got. So... 
How can we keep you in wrestling? Uh, <laughs> Competing. I, I, want, I want you on the circuit, freestyle, Greco. How do we, can we been, get you to do it or not? I've been wondering that question. Uh, I'd really like to go into Greco or something like that. Uh, our, my coach, Nate Angle, he, he put in uh, a WCAT request for uh, Navy, and I, I don't think it got processed through. The Navy was like, well, we don't need that. Because <laughs> uh, he was WCAT, wasn't he? Yeah, Nate, Nate was WCAT, but Army, Army yeah. side. So... Uh, and then this world class Marine, athlete program for people who don't know. Yeah, and then there's the Marine Corps side, but uh, I got disqualified from that. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm right next to ODU. Uh, I'll try and uh, see what I can do there, just help out as much as I can, just stay involved in wrestling. But uh, I'm guessing this is probably, probably it for me. It makes me sad. <laughs> Last thing. I think the thing I remember about you is you got bit at the NCAAs one year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got bit, right? I did. I did get that, Was bit. that the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, no, no. It, you got bit in the bicep. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I actually, uh, he sent me an email. He was real nice about it. He apologized. And then, you know, even after he sent the email, I was like, uh, you know, it's probably just some mandatory thing that school's making him do. But I saw him at a tournament this year. He came up to me, apologized formally again. Real nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. actually a real nice guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like wow, you're, you're actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's what it is. Well, I'm going to remember this. Congratulations. Thanks for your service. Thank you. Good luck in the future. Appreciate it.